What's going on fellow Maplers? Before I start, I broke this video into two separate parts. The first part you're watching now is a guide to maximizing charm gain by exploring all the available options. I'll start with the basics and work my way through the most effective methods and hopefully teach you something along the way. The second part will be a comedic walkthrough of the quest line that opens up to you once you hit level 30 charm which will follow my Maple Master series, which I expect to release this upcoming weekend. Make sure to check it out. All right, with that out of the way, let's dive right in. Why increase your charm in the first place? Well, once you reach level 30, you auto-complete the excessively charming quest, which unlocks the pocket slot. This slot is phenomenal. It's easily filled with Hilla Stone of Eternal Life temporarily, or Pink Bean's Pink Holy Cup, which is pretty much best in slot until much later in the game, as it gives you boss tier flames and counts towards the boss accessory set. Additionally, unique only to the charm trait, at level 30 and every 5 incremental levels onwards, you start to unlock new usable facial expressions for your character by completing a quest line which takes you through acting lessons with Lana, CEO of Big Hit Records on the eastern side of Hennessy's Market, until you max out charm at level 100. The rewards are actually pretty good, and with just a little bit of time investment. So how do you increase your charm? There are several ways, but the most effective short and long-term charm gain comes from daily and weekly boss clears. Many boss drops provide charm, and sometimes other trade XP when equipped for the first time. To help you out here, try to get as high of a drop rate as possible in order to get more equipment. Here's the first big tip of this video. Please do not get rid of your equipment that provides trade XP. You can effectively double the trade XP you receive by farming duplicate drops and fusing them at Ardent Mill with very minimal requirements. Before I get into how to do that, let's walk through the most effective bosses to clear for equipment with Charm XP. Starting out with ones that allow daily clears. Normal Zackum can be cleared super early in your account progression for his helmets, which provide 50 charm XP. Each member of the normal Rutabus can be cleared for their helmets, which also provide 50 charm XP. Chaos Horntail can be cleared for his necklace, which provides 80 charm XP. Hard Von Leon can be cleared for his accessory drops, the necklace, earring, and ring, which provide 60 charm XP each. Hard Renmaru can be killed for Amaterasu equipment, which gives 100 charm XP each. And a quick tip here is to also keep an extra copy of each Amaterasu piece on hand, as it helps bridge the gap between level 140 equipment and level 160 Absolab gear to transfer epic potential and star force at a much cheaper cost. Also, Golix can be cleared for accessory drops that give 100 charm XP each. Moving on to weekly bosses, the Chaos Pink Bean drops the Black Bean and Chaos Pink Bean hat and body, which each provide 100 charm XP. Additionally, it rarely drops the Black Bean mark for an extra 25 charm XP. Chaos Zackum drops the Enraged Zackum cape for 100 charm XP, the Enraged Zackum helmet for 100 charm XP, and the Chaos Zackum helmet for 70 charm XP. As another quick tip, one-of-a-kind items cannot be fused as you can only hold one copy at a time. This will be noted under the item name. Normal and Easy Cygnus drop tokens, which can be converted into Empress equipment for 100 XP each. Token-based drops are perfect for charm as they save on inventory and you can always select the same piece of gear from them. Chaos Rutabus can also be cleared for the Chaos variant of their hats for 50 charm XP each and guaranteed charm XP through their token drops which can be converted into the Root Abyss set items. I would not recommend using these for charm however as extra copies for star forcing are super useful when trying to pass 17 stars. There are other boss drops which provide charm XP outside of these, however, these are the most accessible to pretty much everyone progressing through the early game, and as you get to later bosses, their drops become so rare that they just wouldn't be efficient to farm. Now that you know which items to get, once you start to accumulate more than one copy of these items, head on over to Ardent Mill in order to fuse your equipment. 
The only requirement for fusing items is that you have at least learned the alchemy profession. If professions are new to you, I will give you a quick rundown of what you need to do. You can easily find Ardent Mill on the western side of Hennessy's or by teleporting through the profession's UI. Here, talk to Grant Elder to complete the professional and unlock professions. A quest will also appear in your light bulb quest notifier at level 35 to take you here. Then, go to the bottom right of the map to talk to Saffron in order to learn herbalism. From there, head to the other side of the map and talk to Ali to learn alchemy. Now, when you're done, open your inventory and a cog icon for disassembly and the vial icon with the plus sign for fusion are available to you. Head to the top of the map and speak to Knack to buy several alchemist stones. There is an unlimited stock so you can always come back for more. Now, open your newfound fusion UI and select the two duplicate items you want to fuse. Using a few of the alchemist stones, it will create a new copy of that item in your inventory, removing the two former copies you had. And this new item will have trade XP when equipped for the first time. One of the unique qualities of the charm trait is that the daily limit is also quite high at 5,000, so you never really need to worry about hitting the cap of 500 that other traits have. Moving on from equipment, probably the easiest but limited way to get charm is via trait increase and trait boost potions. I want to caution you that other traits are much harder to level and provide greater benefits like insight for ignore elemental resistance and empathy for buff duration. Personally, I would not utilize these potions to increase charm unless you are looking to unlock the pocket slot for the first time on your main. That being said, these potions are still super useful, so let's walk through their benefits and how to get them. The trait increase potion is the smaller of the two and will grant you about 3700 XP in a trait of your choice. The trait boost potion will grant you about 11,000 XP, which is sufficient to reach level 30 in a trait from level 1 and you can get these in several ways. Your first option is guaranteed through the Maple Guide. You can receive a one-time claimable trait boost potion reward after reaching level 160. This is the one time I might recommend using one of these on Charm so that you can lock your first pocket slot. The only other consistent way to get these types of potions is through daily gifts. Clear 300 daily monsters until you reach the 13th daily gift to get a free trait increase potion once a month. Moving on, ironically, with some consistency, you can also get compensation boxes, which will occasionally have trait increase potions. Outside of those methods, you can wait until a temporary event comes around, and usually those events have reward shops, which allow you to exchange event currency for limited quantities of trait potions. The next two methods aren't really reliable for trait boost potions, but you can still get them. Head over to the Exploration tab in the Monster Collection UI to send out collections of monsters to have an extremely rare chance to provide trait boost potions. Additionally, you can complete Monster Park on Wednesday, which provides trait potions at a rare chance, and at an extremely rare chance, not realistic at all, you can receive Expertise Boost Potions, which give you level 100 in the corresponding trait potion you receive instantly. Monster Park Saturday may also randomly roll a Wednesday box reward. While those last two methods may not be great for trait boost potions, they lead into the third main way to get charm, which is through trait boosting consumables. These are great to collect as they are stackable and able to be transferred between characters. The consumables for charm is cologne, which gives 5 experience each, and premium cologne, which gives 30 experience each. Monster Exploration provides a random 5-7 to seven trait boost in consumables for a 6-hour Monster Exploration reward. You can also get 7-10 to 10 from 24 hours, but since they are claimed far less frequently, the 6-hour rewards are ideal if you are able to claim them multiple times a day. Additionally, you can clear Monster Park up to 7 times on Wednesday and Saturday for a chance to get 1-50 to 50 regular cologne. Lastly, at the reward screen for your daily Gullix clear, you have the chance of getting 5 premium cologne per encounter when you talk to the Mountain Mummer. You can also get 10 weekly by talking to Randolph in the room before the Gullix fight. Those are pretty much the three primary options you have available to you, but there are a few unorthodox methods which you might use for fun and variance in your daily grinds. 
The first of these is actually really great to get started early as you can get 150 trade XP daily super easily. All you need to do is complete the first few quests in Showa Town. You can then give Freddy Cat up to 50 food a day for 3 random trade XP each. If you want a goofy walkthrough of this quest, check out my Maple Master series, Episode 3, down in the description. And of course, you can't talk about charm without talking about fame. Relive the nostalgia of the old MMO days by socializing. Head on over to some populated areas to chat up with fellow Maplers, make a new friend, trade each other some fame for one charm XP each. The final method I'll offer to you is for the absolutely insane. All you need to do is collect cash shop items from events or by wailing out in the cash shop. Now good luck rolling the dice on whether you crash. Cosmetics worn for the first time in your decoration tab often provide a trivial amount of charm XP.